Hey guys, welcome. And today we're going to show you how to use any power supply on the Power Edge T310. You know, it's all you need is a, a tester and any power supply that has yellow wires. Because anything that would have yellow wires as you would look on here on the back we got a EVGA 500 watt power supply we just had to bend this metal right here and make it fit in there the both the screws will line up on both sides these screws will all four line up see we have harness near I had to use the stock harness a stock harness right here to wire this up now would run it inside here like all this just to get the work I had to wire this to the ATX harness And you're gonna have to transfer all the cable. You're gonna have to redo all the cables with new cables, like the new SATA cables. You're gonna have to have new SATA cables for this. I got mine running an MSI R R seven three sixty dual power um, dual graphics card that was running in here with it. I had twelve gigs of RAM on here. See, it's a power edge T310. What you're going to want to do is you're going to cut this off of any, if you have an ATX power supply, it will have a connector like this. You're going to cut this off and you're going to cut the factory one off of the Dell power supply because you're going to need all these wires. All these yellow wires must be connected to 12 volts or this will not work right. And if you see whites on here, the two whites are 12 volts. Awesome. You're going to have to hook like, you're going to have to hook up all the 12 volts together. Like, white, two white, it's 12 volts. You'll see one red wire, which is five volts. And you're gonna have all these yellow wires. which are four, I believe. Let's see here, three, five yellow wires. We got five yellow, five yellow wires. Five yellow wires that are 12 volt. And the, yellow, the orange is three volt. Three point three volts, just like a normal computer would be. And you're gonna have you're gonna have the gray, which is the power good wire. Which is the PG wire. It has to, it that wire has to be up. It should be five volts. Five volts. You gotta have that gray wire hooked up to the gray wire for it to turn on. It'll tell you that everything's hooked up and it's okay for it to turn on. 
and you'll have a purple wire, which is sta five volt standby. This is purple standby, five volt. And make sure all the black, all the grounds are hooked up. You have to have all that hooked up. Ground. And then you're going to cut this harness off. You're going to put all the oranges with the oranges on the, on the ATX power supply. You're going to put all the yellows. You're going to, you're going to want to what you're going to wire these two whites in with the yellows and make sure the power, ATX power supply you get has, has the yellows because you're need, you're going to need at least two or three yellows here, two yellows. You're going to hook up the whites. You're going to hook up those five yellows from the Dell power supply plug you're from the plug to these yellow wires and you're gonna run you're gonna wire the white wires all and the yellow wires all together to this from the because you, you need those five yellows to make it run and you'll have you're gonna need at least one red wire five volt because the Dell power supply had one red wire. Make sure you'll see these two yellow, yellow wires, right? One yellow, one of these, these two orange wires together. One will go to a brown wire or like these two, yellow, these two oranges could be together, or one could go to a brown wire. Because some ATX power supplies, one will be a brown wire, and the other one will be an orange wire. Like, like this. You'll see there's two oranges in that thing. Which would be these two wires right here. If you have ATX power supply, you'll see a brown and an orange wire together. You'll see these two orange wires right here. You're gonna hook up, you're gonna make sure those two together because it tests the signal for the three volts. Just make sure all these are connected. The green is the power on butt wire still. And that's it. Or if you don't know the voltages, you can always put the screen to the black, get a power tester, put the black to the ground, and then use the red for all these wires. Test these wires to check and see what voltages are which. That's another thing you can do to make it work, to make it to figure out all the voltages. Because you want to check, make sure your voltages are right, correct, before you start wiring this up. You don't want to fry anything. So this is the Dell, P Dell PSU. This only works with the, the Power Edge T310. And thanks, here, these are the diagrams for if you're wiring an ATX power supply. This is the Dell PSU power supply. The voltages will correctly be the same. All I gotta do is put the 
Wire up the whites with the yellows and the yellows with the yellows. Wire the red with the with one of the red five volts. Wire the orange. Like the, all the orange 3.3 volts will always be the same. Wire the orange to orange on ATX. Make sure you wire the gray with the gray. Match up the purple with the purple and match up all the grounds. And you should have a system. You should have an ATX power supply running a Dell Power Edge T310. Thanks for watching. I hope this works out for you. Please comment in the bottom if you need any help on any, any of this. Have a good day.